Yeah. Hi, everybody. Hi. Happy Friday. This is so exciting. Um, okay. First of all, wait a minute. Make sure we can right tech check. Make sure everyone can hear us. Um, we're checking all the places. So our four different places tonight: the Kingston Crafts page on Facebook, the Kingston Crafts group in Facebook, um, the Kingston Home on Facebook, and the Kingston Home on YouTube. So we just want to make sure everybody is where they're supposed to be. <laughs> Or where we're supposed to be, I guess I should say. Okay, I can see us. I can see us, babe, on wherever I am right now. Um, Trying to get it up on. Oh, here. Let's see if. Are we on the Kingston home? Yes, we are. Trying to YouTube. Yep, and we're up. Okay, there. we're up everywhere. Yay. Hi, everybody. Hi. Oh, I'm so excited. It's a, <laughs> it, takes, it takes us a hot minute. Um, I will have my glasses on and off throughout the evening because. My eyeballs are getting old doing all these crafts. Um, so I want to be able to read everybody's comments. I need to be able to make my cards. Uh, so many things going on. How is everybody? We're going to give it a couple of minutes for people to join. Um, I have four giveaways tonight. Um, one on each channel. So as per usual, if you watch my Diamond Press lives, if you've watched some of my other lives, um, the... So it's a $20 gift card to kingstoncraftsshop.com. And the YouTube channel, we will pick the winner tonight. The uh, the Facebook channels, you will have until Sunday morning. Um, to So if you're watching this like on replay, just hop on over to any of the Kingston Crafts group, Kingston Crafts page, or Kingston homepage. Leave a comment, and we'll pick a winner from each on Sunday. Yay! I'm so excited! Okay, has everyone downloaded their printables and SVGs because we're going to talk about those and use those today too. And they're free because you know I like free. Okay. How's everybody? Put my glasses on and they sort of match my sweater. So I feel good. Hi, Jane and Kelly's here. Desiree, Suzanne, Karen, Norma, Joanne. Hi everybody. Mom. Hello. Sharon. Gma's here. Rosanna, Jackie, Norma. Hi everybody. Okay. Um, so here's what we're doing. If you bought the Kingston Crafts holiday card making kit, that's what we're primarily gonna be working from. However, many of these techniques, almost all of these techniques can be used with some other holiday paper collection, Kingston Crafts paper pad. You may just have to make a few adjustments, but I wanna show you just some really easy techniques to like pump these out because um, I haven't started my Christmas cards <laughs> yet, except the ones I made for this class. Um, oh, so if you're joining us for the first time or whatever, forgot, forgot how things work around here, all you have to do to be entered to win the giveaway is comment. That's no specific anything. Tell us where you're tuning in from. Um, tell us if you've got the card kit. Tell us if you've started your Christmas cards yet. So my plan is to show you a couple techniques, show you like beginner slash easy card. For example, first one we're going to do is using the SVG files very beginner slash quick card. Here's how you can make it a little more intricate. Here's some crazy intricate ones that are gorgeous, which I did not make, the designers made. Um, so I've got three different techniques to show you doing that, using the stuff we've got here, using your stash. I know I told everybody to bring their stuff because we're gonna use some of our extra stuff. Um, ask questions along the way. Don and I are monitoring all of the <laughs> chats, which is hilarious. Um, we desperately <laughs> need our intern back. Cat, Chaz, or Cassidy, we miss you. Um, okay, so we'll let everybody get their stuff, get settled. I did say to bring adhesive. Um, let me show you what I, so I'll show you as we get there. I'm using an adhesive, oh, no, thanks, babe. So I'm gonna be using my um, Zyron Mega Runner. Um, my Zyron sticker maker, which we'll talk about a little bit. I'm using foam tape. I told everybody to bring foam tape. Um, this is from the Dollar Tree. This is an amazing, I mean, I think it's called the Dollar and the Quarter Tree now, but anyway, um, this is a great, foam tape is great. And, uh, and I'm also using, um, we'll talk about this too, the Creative Memories glue pen, which is like the greatest glue pen ever. Um, I also just realized I haven't had my nails done in <laughs> three weeks, so I'm just a disaster. Anyway, so grab your adhesive. It doesn't have to be exactly that, but we're just going to, whatever you like to use to put your cards together. And then we're going to get started. Okay. Very excited to see everybody. So let's talk. I'm just going to talk briefly about the card kit because what came in the card kit, um, if you haven't gotten it yet. So here's the thing. Well, 
I'm probably not supposed to tell you this, but <laughs> well, anyway. Um, I believe these are already on sale. I believe there might be a little bit more of a sale on Christmas themed items coming later in December. I will keep you posted. But once we do this, this would be a great set to stock up on after Christmas when it's on sale. Cause now, you know, with shipping, it's gonna be a little too late. But if you don't already have it, um, stock up on these for next year because it's gonna be, good. so you get all these, you know, fabulous, card fronts there we go all these fabulous card fronts you got uh cards you got all the scalloped coordinating scalloped card fronts you got all of these embellishments stun kinks and if you'll zoom in here i didn't make it um nice and orderly i just <laughs> threw them in a pile because you get all of these and then you got a roll of washi tape which i've also apparently lost um but oh thank you so there's the washi tape then what we did is i'm gonna have don zoom over here we wanted to give you even, oh, he's gonna turn it down, make it a little romantic in here. Um, we wanted to give you even more stuff to use with this kit. So what we, these kits, so what we did is cre we created two printable sheets and five, one, two, three, four, five SVG files. Um, obviously the Holly and the Jolly go together. Peace, love, joy. Mar oh my gosh, I can't even read it upside down. Mary and Bright, thank you very much. Fa la la, la 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 la. And so um, I think everybody knows <clears throat> how to use SVG files. We'll talk about that in a little bit if you don't. So um, just stay tuned. The printables. I want to talk about the printables because these are different than the ones we did for Halloween. The ones we did for Halloween, you pretty much had to, for example, um, upload to Cricut Design Space or upload to your silhouette um, because they were really intricate. We created these so that you could do them in print and then cut like in design space and we gave you the measurements up here, but all of these can either be cut with a trimmer or your scissors, or they can be used with punches. So for example, we got a pair of scissors. Just, I'm just gonna go ahead and cut this up from the get. Um, for example, these snowflakes, if we cut, these. So I don't want, you know, for those of you that maybe don't have a Cricut or you're intimidated to do printables, I wanted to show you that you can use these with just, so this is just a regular old punch and see how that fits perfectly in there. And then I just punched it out. So if you are someone that has not tried printables because you weren't sure how they work, this is the perfect set for you to start with because you can use them just using your punches and your trimmer. So that was really important for us to do this go around. Um, okay. So with pretty much all of these, you choose, like, I don't have a specific, you know, you must use this card and you must use this card front. It's whatever you've got, whatever you want to use, whatever color paper. Um, I just wanted to show you guys some really cool techniques. So is everybody ready? Are we ready? Are you ready, Don Kingston? Sure. Hi, everybody. Jamie's here, babe. Yay, Jamie Gore. Um, if you guys remember, several people have asked me about this, our um, Christmas card mini albums that we use making our old Christmas cards. Jamie was the one who did the first Facebook Live with me. I'll be doing that class in January too. That's gonna be fun. Um, Tina, Sandy, hi, everybody, hi. Okay, so if you've already cut out some of your SVGs, great. If you haven't, I'm just gonna walk you through how easy they are to use with these sets. Cause this is where I really think you're gonna make good time. And by good time, I mean, knock a lot out and not a lot of time. So what I did is I took, um, we can I'll move all this over. We'll just stay right here in this general vicinity right here. So I'm going to grab one of my card fronts. Here we go. So I'm grabbing that card. And I'm grabbing my pink card front. And again, you can grab whichever one you want, but I just want to show you exactly how I made each card. Or maybe I don't see, they're so thick. Oh, and there's Baloo barking. It sounds like outside. So the great thing about the SVGs, um, and I made some tiny ones that I'll show you in just a little bit, is you can make them whatever size you want. So if I wanted this to cover like most of the front of the card, um, I think I did this like five by three um three and three quarters but then i decided so cut this out right then i decided i wanted to make it fit on the card front so then i was able to shrink it down a little bit so you see 
the difference. This is the really cool thing about SVG files is you can make them absolutely any shape you want to, any size. I think, I don't think I have the Holly Jolly that small, but I do have the Merry and Bright that small because we're going to use that on another card. So you can use them as like the main focus of your card. Excuse me, I got hiccups. Or you can use them as an embellishment. So that's what's really cool about SVGs if you're someone that doesn't get into them that much. And so I cut the Holly Jolly to fit my card front. So let's talk about foam tape for a second. I am obsessed with foam tape. <laughs> it's inexpensive. Um, these days with um, most cards have a little bit of bumpy lumpy on them. I haven't found that I've had to put more postage on my cards if I use foam tape. If I did like four layers, yes. Or if I did a big, you know, poofy embellishment, yes. But foam tape is an easy way to give you some dimension without um, causing you to have to pay extra. So if you guys have watched my NHSN, you've seen this tip. I love the foam tape. However, I like to use it for specifically what I need it for. What I like to use for big pieces that I don't need to look pretty or look a specific way. So this is an old, I don't know if you guys can see that. So this is a um, foam tape that's got, it's mostly empty. See all these empty holes right here. This is my number one. I think if you guys know me, you can, um, you've already seen this before. All of this stuff in between these holes is just as good a foam tape as the other foam tape. So you get like double the foam tape in these. So when I'm doing big projects like this, I actually cut up my big ugly looking <laughs> pieces of foam tape. And that's what I put on there. Cause it's something that you probably would have thrown away anyway. You're not gonna use it for anything else. Put a piece of paper in there. White on white. Oh, oh, yeah. Don says white on white is killing us. So we're going to put on another piece of paper. Thanks, Don Kingston. Do it on like a Christmas paper. Okay. Does that look better? Babe? Yeah. All right. Don Kingston says that looks better. So you see what I'm doing? Like, I mean, I'm cutting these a little bit big, but I don't want you to have to use things that you spent good money on when this stuff is just hanging around. So going to go ahead and add this on. I'm just throwing my trash on the floor like I used to at HSN. Okay. How's everybody doing? Uh, How are... We have a good question. Give it to me. Kim wants to know, can you use SVGs with a scanning pen or only with a Cricut? No, you can use SVGs. That's a great question. You can use SVGs with any digital die cutting machine that uses SVG files. So scanning cut, um, silhouette, um, an SVG file is an SVG file. Um, that's a great question. So yes, you can use it on on whichever one tickles your fancy. So I went ahead and put the foam on the back. I would also normally put one in the middle, but I don't I don't feel like you guys wanna watch me put adhesive on things. Um, so here's what else I would like. So I was so excited to see some of you posting your pictures of like getting your craft area ready to make these. I would also, once you make some of these cards, I would love for you to share it either in the group or like on Instagram, if you wanna tag me or on Facebook somewhere. Um, I would love to see your projects. Okay, I'm doing this I'm doing this upside down because I love you guys so much. So I'm just going to lay this on here. And again, I would have put one in the middle, but you know. Okay, now. So see, it just gives like a little bit of dimension, but just takes a couple seconds. Now I would like to talk to you about <laughs> this liquid um, adhesive pen. If you have one that you absolutely love, I'm all about sharing information. So if you have one that you absolutely love, um, tell us in the comments. I have searched high and low for a good adhesive pen. I don't work for Creative Memories. I've never, <laughs> Creative Memories has never said anything to me, said hi. The Precision Point Adhesive Pen. This is the greatest thing that has ever happened to me. I have like a dozen of them. Um, if you guys have one that you love, please feel free to share in the comments. Maybe I'll, I'll give it a try. But if you have been looking for a really good adhesive pen, this is it. So here's why this is important. Because normally you guys, you guys know I'm a Zyron girl through and through. Um, in fact, I'm doing a Facebook live for them next week. Normally, a lot of times I would run my this through my Zyron, but I want to add just an extra little tiny touch of color. So what I'm doing is taking, I told everybody to bring some coordinating twine. So I'm going to take a little piece of twine. And I'm going to take my scissors. And again, we're talking like teeny tiny scraps right here. I'm going to 
run this through. So this one I'm going to, sorry, I got to do upside down for you upside down. So I'm going to take this and I'm just going to tie, babe, will you do me a favor? Okay. Will you do me a favor and get that solid piece of green? I'm afraid the pattern is going to throw people off. Yeah, you get the blue with the um, snow clips. No, I mean, just like a plain, I see that plain green right there. Yeah, but it's short. Oh, <laughs> we're just having a day. Okay. So I'm just going to take this little scrap of twine. I might've cut it a little too short. Nope. There we go. Thanks, babe. Um, and add this to my, again, just for a little bit of texture and a little bit of fun and just a little bit of handmade. But once I do this, I can't run it through my Xyron machine because then it's going to get gunky. So, and it's important to do this, I think, before you. I guess you could do it after, um, but I just prefer to do before. So then you flip this over. Oh my gosh, this is the greatest pen ever. Okay. So then you're just going to go around the edge of your SVG. And unless somebody's going to be like tearing at your SVG, you know, tearing at your card, I'm not one of those people that's like, you have to get glue on every little bit as long as you get it on the outside edges i feel like you're pretty good look at this pen it's so good um i mean it just is oh it's so good so just add a little bit of adhesive so here's the other thing about svgs is with my on my 12 inch piece of paper i think i could get um six of these so with one pass of my, you know, one run through of my Cricut, um, I could get six card card fronts done. Yeah, and this upside down, because I love you guys. Six card fronts done. You've already got the card bases. You've already got the scallops. So you could put these together. You know, you're not sitting around talking to a bunch of <laughs> people. You could put this together in a hot second at six per six SVGs per 12 inch. So this is like sort of beginner a number one. It's super stinking cute. The colors are bright. Um, I used card, the cardstock color from the Christmas collection, the holiday paper pad collection, but I mean, shoot any red works. That's, that's the beauty of it. Um, so then if you want to take it up a notch, which I do, except now I think I might've lost my little embellishment. Oh, there it is. Okay. So you want to take it up a little smidgy smidge. That's what's great about these printables is you, this is not a piece of chipboard. This is not a sticker. This is not something that's one and done. You can print these over and over and over and over and over again. And all it's costing you is the paper from your printer. I actually use like a, a cardstock that runs through your printer. I use it all the time for everything. So what I did, again, because you can make things the size you want them, I printed these out. I took this Merry Christmas and I actually cut it a little bit smaller because I wanted it to be not the main, the focal point of my card. So cut that out. Now I'm going to use my real, my real double-sided tape. There you go. And here's why. This, it's important to have... Um, it be a solid line because this is going on the very front of your card. So it will like, if you don't put any adhesive. So remember how I didn't put any adhesive in there you, in the middle, you can't really tell because it's the base of my card. If I didn't put, sorry, I'm doing this back over here. If I didn't put um, a full strip of foam tape on here, it would bend in the middle and it would just get, especially cause it's small. So here's another trick I'm going to show you. So, I lay this right here. This upside. I'll do it. I'll do it upside down because I love you guys. So I have it hanging over just a tiny bit. So here's the other trick. Take a tiny bit, another tiny bit of tape and flip your card over. So I don't know if you can see there's a gap now between because I already have this on foam tape. There's a little gap. Just take another tiny piece of foam tape and stick it in that gap. So the little sentiment, Merry Christmas won't bend, but it will be lined up perfectly. Go in there, little dude. 
Well, see now they love each other so much they don't want to come off. There we go. So it lines up perfectly and it helps to keep your sentiment straight. So again, you can make six of these on one 12 inch piece of paper. You've already got the card, the backs. Oh, this, okay, here you go. See how now I double, double foamed it so it won't bend? Um, Cause you don't want to have that gap because then it will bend a little bit. So in with one, in addition to the card set, with one piece of 12 by 12 paper and the printables, you can knock these cards out. They're super cute, they're bright, people are gonna love them, it looks like it took forever, boom. So, this is, like, we did super easy, now we add a little bit of embellishments. Now, now I wanna talk to you about taking it up a notch. So, I'm going to, Don Kings is real fancy. Um, he is going to, click over and we're going to go to Cricut Design Space for a second because I want to show you guys that. Look at Don. Don's, everybody give Don a round of applause because he's very fancy. Okay. So I want to show you how you can take SVGs to the even next level. So I'm going to go to my, my uploads. I it just uploaded all these images pretty recently. I'm going to go to Peace, Love, and Joy. And if you're somebody that's like super familiar with Cricut, this may be something you already know. Um, for folks who are just sort of getting into it, I wanna show you a really easy um, tip. So for my card, for the more advanced card, I wanna make this heart a different color and I wanna make this um, stem a different color. But what I don't wanna do <laughs> is have to cut this whole Peace, Love and Joy SVG over and over and over. So I'm gonna go into, so at first I'm going to, cause I wanna make, um, changes. So I'm going to duplicate it so I can do something with the heart. Then I'm going to duplicate it again so I can do something with the leaf. Now I'm going to go to shapes and I'm going to click on circle. We're going to do the heart first. So the circle is going to come. I'm going to take this circle. It's great. Let me change the color so you guys can see it a little bit better. Like that. Okay. So I'm going to take this circle. I'm going to sort of hover over the heart and I'm going to start shrinking the circle until it just, so you guys see the heart right there. So I've shrunk the circle quite a bit. See if we can shrink it a little, yeah, a little bit more. There you go. Shrunk the circle quite a bit. Now, then what you're going to do is grab the peace, love, and joy and the circle. And then you're going to go to slice and watch what happens. It's thinking about things, it's thinking. Okay, so see how now you can see the little shape. So now watch what happens. I'm gonna delete the peace, love, and joy. I'm gonna delete the purple part, delete it again. Now I'm left with just, see the heart? It's got, Yeah, it's got all the little gunks around it, but that I can trim off real quick. I, what I don't wanna do is waste all this paper and time trying to cut around this. So then you do the same with the leaf. This time I'm gonna go with the oval. We'll make it purple too, just so you guys can see what's happening. Let me know if this isn't making um, sense to everybody too. And I can, I can also like do a separate video of this, but for me, this is just a great way to sort of take things up a notch and I'll show you um, the end result in just a second. So I'm going to take the oval. I'm going to shrink it down. I can also change the height and width, as you know. Okay. So we got that. That pretty much covers everything. I'm going to do the same thing. Hit slice. Let it think for a quick second. It's thinking about things. Okay. So then I delete the words. I delete all the purple and I'm left with the leaf. So what we're going to do, I'm going to, we're going to switch back out of this and we're going to go to, um, Uh, is every, is this working for everybody? It does sort of make sense to everybody. Um, so here's what it looks like when you cut it out. So are we done with the design space? Yes, we're done with design space. So the end, oh, is it getting weird? I want to disconnect this. Okay. I think we have too many streams going. <gasps> the Kingston's are too technologically savvy. Don says, okay. Does that help him? Hopefully. Well, is it getting weird for well, a couple people said it was getting a little fuzzy, a little fuzzy. We'll catch up later in the non-live broadcast but it'll be but we want be people to be able to see in the live yeah. okay um you can close that. 
close this Facebook. So, but I want to read the questions. Okay, I'm just leave it. Um. Oh, oh yeah, I see. Okay. It looks better now on YouTube. Yeah. So Does it look better? Getting rid of the stream yard helps a little bit. Okay. I think um. Too many things going over one time. Oh, okay. Let us know if you guys are still having trouble. Don, Don tried to fix things. He's fantastic. Okay. So we're going to zoom in a little bit. I'm going to have Don come on over here. So now what's happened is I was able to cut out my whole piece of joy over here. I won't pick each thing. I was able to cut my leaf out of green. And I was able to cut my heart out of red. And then like this one, for example, my leaf cut pretty cleanly. Oh, no, it is still being weird. A little bit. That's okay. That's right. Now you think it could be. Oh, sorry, babe. So then what happens is if I trim the excess around here, I get the exact shape I want instead of trying to navigate everything. And then what you do, same sort of idea. So now I've taken my blue peace, love, and joy, and I've just replaced my heart, used a little bit of foam tape, and then I replaced my uh, stem on the end, and it adds a ton of color, and again, looks like it took forever, but you're doing it with little tiny scraps. And again, you could do this over and over and over and over on a 12 inch piece of paper. And then here's another one of our sentiments from our printables, we wish you Merry Christmas, and then one of our little free banners. So that's what I mean by the SVG files in the printables. This is a little more Beginner, you just add one on there, all one color, add the little sentiment. You can add a little zhuzh if you want, but then if you want to take it up a notch, then you start doing things in different colors and add, adding layering, and that's going to make it even better. And again, the free printables. It's so good. Okay, so beginner, a little more advanced. <laughs> now we'll show you some really gorgeous, these are from the designers. Other SVGs that you've found online, dyes you've got from other companies, look at how beautiful this one is. Is that not stunning? It's just a uh, leaf over and over and over, leaves over and over, and this beautiful candy cane. But I mean, look at how fun that is in the colors and everything coordinates, it's beautiful. Love the poinsettia right here. So, and again, like <laughs> I just found a bag of um, pre-cut poinsettia pieces of paper so I could just do this over and over again. Um, so that's one of the things. And then this goes back to being simple, but if you've got Diamond Press especially, has some great big Christmas sentiments, um, or if you've got ones on in your Cricut design space, this is super easy, but it's still super cute and it's gonna go so quickly. Like this, this is, I really think is gonna be a game changer for everyone. Then we're taking it up even another notch. Can we please look at that? I mean, I'm not making these because I'm frantically trying to get all my Christmas cards done, but look at that. Like, this is the kind of stuff you can be making with SVG files. Um, this is using, um, oh, we're going to show these in a little bit. Oh, here's this one right here. Another beautiful poinsettia. Like, that's what I mean about thinking about using your SVG files. So those are some really cool card ideas. Okay. How's everybody doing with questions? Okay, let's, uh, pop, let's pop back up for one, for one second. Everybody doing everybody doing good. Some people said the video is better, so I think it's just it's just the internet. It's just the world. The world today is weird. Um, so people complaining about Facebook. Oh yeah, Facebook's been kind of a mess. Um, if you're having Don, Don, you said it was looking good over on YouTube. It was. So that's another option too. Is if you're having trouble seeing it on Facebook, it might be a Facebook issue. Um, YouTube might might work a little better for you. But speaking of, so we're doing a giveaway on each channel. Um, all you have to do is leave a comment. We'll pick the YouTube winner tonight and then Kingston Crafts Facebook group, Kingston Crafts Facebook page, and the Kingston Home Facebook page. We will um, draw those winners on Sunday. Okay, so that's our first technique. The second one is what I would like to call the three-peat <laughs> because that is um, sort of the rule of crafting is to use three of things. And so... This is where we're really going to get into talking about our um, leftovers because I don't, I know we all, we've all got them. Um, so let's let's talk about our leftovers, shall we? I would like to know 
what you guys have the most of. I'm gonna show you like the random. So I have this giant tub, which I have showed you, I think maybe on HSN before. This is all, <laughs> it says Christmas embellies on the front. This is all just random Christmas embellishments I've got, like just all kind of random things. But here's what I have the most of, because I actually have more organized in bags. Um, if you've been watching HSN a while, I know you must have some Anna Griffin embellishments left over. Am I right? Like I have giant piles of them. That's number one. Um, number two, some sort of fabric, whatever poinsettia, like I got a whole bag of them. I know I feel, please don't let me feel like I'm alone. I feel like I'm not the only one. Um, I have an inordinate amount of wooden embellishments, which we will be talking about later. Like many of them are in the shape of a reindeer, which we will be talking about. And then I have my bag of like um, random sentiments, random phrases, I'll be home for Christmas, tis the sea, just from like leftover kits. So I got a big bag of that. So we're gonna talk about that. Um, that's, that's my, I feel like I'm like confessing things. So I would love to know what you guys have extras of. I wanna know about the paper you printed that thing on. Um, do you wanna look in the drawer? So I get my, the paper that I use to print my printables, um, I get at Sam's Club. Is that the cardstock or the regular babe? I think, paper. so it's the other. It's the cards. Yeah. I get it at Sam's Club in bulk. Um, it's amazing. It's called, okay, perfect. Oh, I've done zoom in. That's what we use for, um, and it just grows, goes through your printer and it, it's, the color is amazing. I get it at Sam's, you can probably get it on Amazon. What I'll do is when we get done, um, I will see if I can link to some stuff on Amazon so you guys can find it because it's super, super handy and helpful. Okay, so now we're gonna talk about three peats and using stuff we've already got. If you have, I'm gonna pull out my diamond press, but um, if you've got a manual die cutting machine, if you've got a Cricut, whatever, whatever you got, um, I wanna show you a technique for getting two, a twofer. So we're talking about a threefer, a three peat and a twofer. Um, you wanna take your scallop card front and take an oval, if you've got a scalloped oval, if you've got a post-it, whatever. Um, one that will fit inside your card fronts and we're gonna cut those out. I, if you wanna be really scientific about it and measure, you can, you, you know I'm not that person. Um, you just wanna sort of get it Move this out of the way so you guys can see. Get it in the middle-ish. I mean, this one's easy because it's got plaid, so I can sort of line it up as I go. Um, if you want to measure it out, then you would just put a little piece of washi tape on it. And close that up. Run it through. So we're going to use both pieces of these, and I'll show you how in a minute. We're going to use the center for our three-peat, and then I'll show you um, the other. Okay. So we've got both of these pieces. Here's where the three peat comes in. So you take one of your cards, um, one of your card bases, you're gonna take your card front. Again, um, you want to add some foam to the back. For this one, I'll use, I'll use my big circles um, just to make it quick. And we'll put, now, here's, here's where we get wacky. So the, the sort of golden rule of creativity is um, odd numbers. Uh, you'd never wanna put like six buttons on something or six um, gems or, you know, what you wanna put three, five, seven, cause it's just more appealing to the eye. So I'm gonna head, take this, put it here. And then you are just going to take three of whatever extra embellishment you've got, <laughs> whatever. For me, as I mentioned, it is the Anna Griffin embellishments. So I have more of these little holly leaves than any other human should possibly have. <laughs> uh, I mean, I've been collecting these kids for like a thousand years. Anyway, I, I have a lot of them. So using three is not a, so I can just take these and start, and I'm not gonna glue these down because I wanna be able to show you guys and move these around. So you take three of whatever it is, whether it's 
wooden reindeers, whether it's snowflakes, whether it's Christmas trees, whether it's whatever. It doesn't even have to be three of the same things. If I wanted to do like these two things down here and maybe a big bow, I think I had a bow somewhere. You just want to do three is the magic number. So whatever it is, you want to do three. I'm going to do the three. And like, that's the great thing. Just dump out all your embellishments and see what you got. And then, so you've got a couple choices. You can either use um, one of the um, sentiments that comes in your card kit. And you could just like tuck it in there. Or, <laughs> and see, that looks, again, this is like a beginnerish, but look at that looks so singing cute. Or if you are someone like me, who, as I mentioned, I have all of those um, phrases you could use. Here, here's one of my big bags of phrases. I could take this and I could pop it in the center and sort of tuck it in. Or you could go back. To, I mean, look at all these I got over here. <laughs> I've got this one from some old set that I could tuck in. So that's the great thing about it. You just sort of take them all and you're like, which one do I like better? And then you just keep going and using your stash over and over and over, getting things done on your project. You could also um, take one of the SVGs, because remember I made it smaller, put that in the middle. Well, Boom. Someone wants to know if the SVGs work on the Cricut Joy. Yes, they do. They absolutely do. Uh, the um, Someone asked if the SVGs work on the Cricut Joy, and they absolutely do. Um, that's a great question. Yeah, you just have to resize. And that's, remember, I was saying, like, here, here's the size of Marion Bright if I wanted to do it as a card front. I shrunk it down instead to make it a sentiment. But look at how cute this is, and it's using everything that's left over. So here it is with, with my leftovers. I think this might have been... Um, Maybe Mitzi's card or Shemaine's. Here it is with what? <gasps> Those poinsettia flowers that everybody has. And then she used one of the sentiments from the card kit. Okay, but then here's here's like my favorite part of all time. So you, you're, this is this is the like more beginnery use your stash. Remember this part because this part we can use to make shaker cards. I mean, come on. And again, I'm gonna bend this back so you can see. You're just using the foam tape. And then you'd want to use like a little piece of acetate. But so you're getting this is so this one card front, you're getting this card and this card. That's the really cool thing about it. If you want to do circles, I love this idea. If you're not into shaker cards, this was, was this Jermaine's too? This might have been Victoria's. You cut the circle out of the actual card front. So you can reuse this piece. But look at that. So no shaker card. This is the kind of stuff like you guys are going to get so much use out of your card kits just with these techniques. And again, leftovers, 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 <laughs> leftovers, leftovers. Uh, I'm sure some of the like little glittery things in here, leftovers. But all of this you can make with stuff you've already got in your stash and these cards. So that's tech. That's technique number two, everybody. Um, How's everyone doing so far? Good, I've been looking at Everybody good? Um, people are asking about the glue pen. I don't know anyone at Creative Memory. Like, I don't, I, I would love to give somebody a link if they're a Creative Memories person. Um, but if you... I think someone knows they want to replace Oh, okay. We'll keep our eyeballs open. Um, but if you Google Creative Memories... Creative Memories Precision Point Adhesive greatest thing ever if creative memories would like to <laughs> so tell me how, i mean i know kidding i probably have like a dozen or more of these somewhere in my stash okay so that's technique number two now um let's move on to ooh, let's move on to technique number three which i like to call stripping um because i love to think of the most appropriate names ever okay don't forget, if you guys are just joining us, um, we're having a giveaway today, one on each of our channels. Let me move all my stashes over. <laughs> um, okay, well, actually, while we're resetting, I need to show you guys, guys this real quick. <laughs> so this, I believe, is from Chastity, um, who's our newest designer. So you see that? That is a bunch of 
the cards that she glued together and made into a mini album. So this is the first card. So it's the pattern on the outside. Then on the inside, it's white. She added a card base, decorated. Then she added a piece of um, pattern paper. I mean, is this not? Oh, see, these are glued together right there. I mean, is this not the cutest idea you have ever seen? So, oh, I see what it is. So these are flipped upside down now. So this is like, would be folded this way as a card. This would be all my stuff falling out. But anyway, this is just another super cute idea for using, like if you end up with a few leftover cards, look at how cute. And again, this, the snowflakes from her stash, this uh, doilies from her stash, these are from the chipboard collection. Um, the washi tape comes with, but like, look at all these cute, oh, God. I mean, come on. What a great way to use, and this uses, if I'm looking at it right, if Chastity's on here, she can tell me. One, two, three, four, five, six. This uses seven cards. Is this not the sweetest thing you have ever seen? Before, before we get back to card making, just like another thing you can make with this card kit. So, as I mentioned before, um, get, it, get it on clearance if, <laughs> if they have it. Okay. Um, come back up. Hmm? You want me to come back up? Uh, no, we're going to just get to I'm going to have a sip of my wine. Um, also, since you guys are, well, come, we'll come back up for a second. Since you guys are my friends, I can tell you a story. Um, someone, someone's trying to have me fired um, for drinking wine during my Facebook lives. Not here, because this is my company and I can do what I want. Anyway. But I figure it's Friday night, Thursday night. We can all have a little cocktail. So, I appreciate you guys being here with me while I drink my glass of wine. Well, he likes your idea of creating, uh, sorting your stuff. Sorting your stash into piles. Sorting your stash into bags from Anita. She yeah, and thank you, Anita. I sorting it into bags has really helped me because at least like all those poinsettias aren't the same, but at least I can tell. Um, Diane said she just inherited a bunch of Anna's embellishments. The, I'm tell that's like one of seven bags I have, but they're so pretty. I don't want to get rid of them, but I also like don't make the her full elaborate cards. But we made these cards and stuff to coordinate with other things. So I'm really excited. I hope you guys love um, using them. Okay. Now, stripping. So this is another way to get um, more use out of your stuff. So what we're doing is we're taking the card fronts and we're cutting them, obviously, in half. Because then you can get a little more pop, a little more color. So I'll take my, my card front. So over here, take my card front. I'm going to take one of these and one of these. And again, I'm not going to glue all this stuff down because I feel like you guys don't need to watch me do that. But um, so what you do is you take these, you add them to your card. You could add foam tape. Um, you could totally add foam tape. I'm not for this process, but you could, you know, I love a foam tape. So then what you do with the center is you can either, this is a piece of scrap paper from my Christmas collection. So you could add that across the top. But again, because I know I'm not the only one, I have like probably half a dozen of these washi strips that I've gotten from whatever kits. So you could put that across the top. There's washi tape that comes with the kit. You could put that across the top. And then again, we go for the three peat. So, so you're using strips of your card fronts. You're using a strip of either leftover paper. It could be leftover cardstock. Oh, you could do glitter paper. That would be really pretty. You can use washi, whatever you've got. Um, and then one, two, three. So this is um, a sentiment that came with the kit. This is a leftover chipboard sticker from some random project <laughs> I had my embellishment get. And this is one of the free printables from this piece that I already cut up earlier. So you just add them. And that's the great thing about, because you're not working with anything super intricate, you can move everything around and sort of decide what you want it to look like before you adhere it. So if I put this together and I was like, eh, I don't like, you know, the pink Christmas tree with the that. I don't like whatever. 
you can move this around. You can, you know, if I wanted to come back in with this bow, if I wanted to put that up here, or if I decided I wanted to put it down here and maybe move this over a little bit. That's the great thing about this is because once you've got the base of the card down, this is where you can really play with the embellishments you've got because there is no, you know, if your bow's a little bit bigger, you could put it up here at the top. Or if you want to, you know, get get in with one of the smaller, wherever my little die cut went. Or if you wanted to come back in <laughs> with one of these sentiments that you have from somewhere else. So as long as you've got the base of your card down, that's where you can finally use all those embellishments because we did make everything to coordinate. The green, there are a couple shades of green, there are a couple shades of blue, red is red. Um, you know, um, this doesn't have burgundy in it. It's got a sort of a bright basic red, but so do most cards like this. I don't even know where this came from. I've had it for so long, but this red matches perfectly and this green matches perfectly. That's the, what I, <laughs> not to toot my own horn, but I think we did, I, that's one of my favorite things about this is we made everything to coordinate. So like I could play around with this, but look at how cute this turned out. And again, one, two, three, a little leftover, but I mean, how? So again, you're getting, see, so these are opposites. So I have, you know, this one that I'd be putting all the fun stuff together, completely different embellishments, but same base. Just cut some of your card fronts in half, add a little color in between, add some embellishments and you're good. That's the really, what I really think is cool. Again, stripping. <laughs> this is another technique that I, I really like. So you take the card front and instead of cutting, here, I got another one, here we go. You cut here. So that gives you, you've got this pop of color here. You've got another pattern here with a little bit of interest right here with the scallop. And then here is another scrap. So you got this, this, and then again, one, two, three. Rule of threes. Again, using just a little tiny leftover bit. Of, it's the, it makes me so happy. Like this, I, I'm so excited for you guys to use the scraps you've got, to use the um, embellishments that came in the kit, all that stuff. Okay, so. Somebody wants to know that you're going to continue to keep drinking wine. Oh, well, I'll keep drinking wine. Don't you guys worry about that. Yes, I appreciate you. People are just weird. Um, it made me, it made me giggle when I found out because... I don't think, <laughs> think that's going to happen, but if I get fired for drinking wine on, in my own basement, that's a whole other thing. Um, so I'm going to show you some more finished. So those are the three techniques. Um, I'm going to show you some more finished cards, but if people need to like hop off to go do things, because I know we've been on for almost an hour, 50 minutes or so. Um, before, so leave a comment wherever you are if you haven't. We'll pick a YouTube name in just a second. I'm gonna show a couple more finished card projects to talk about, especially using your stash. So if you're somebody that's interested in using your stash, hang out with me for the next five minutes or so. Um, some other news. Uh, I am doing <coughs> a Zyron Facebook Live. What day are we doing that back Tuesday? Uh, Thursday, the 9th, right? Thursday the 9th, um, we're going to be making little cute Santa Claus napkin ring, r napkin rings. Um, that'll be right here. Um, I'm doing a Diamond Press Facebook Live on the 12th, which you guys are the first to know about that. Um, there's just a lot happening. I will be doing, um, in January, I'll be doing a Facebook Live on how to turn your um, Christmas cards into a mini album. <clears throat> we just have, we have lots of things. And then... Um, for my Kingston Crafts people, which uh, most of you are if you're here, um, we have new product launching in January on HSN, and it's um, the cutest thing ever. Oh, it's so cute. Okay. Um, that'll be coming up later. All right. Leave a comment so you can win. Um, let's talk a little bit more about the, our stashes before, <laughs> before we go. Um, we, you have about another minute or so if you're on YouTube to leave a comment. Um, I want to talk, we'll scroll through these. So here's another, not a specific tip, but um, just an idea. So as like the point said, as I was just talking about, um, if you have a lot of something, figure out which of these techniques is going to work for you to use those somethings. So like, for example, I have a ton of these um, Anna Griffin Holly <coughs> leaves. So this will be a perfect tech, this will be a perfect card for me because I know I can crank out 
10 or 20 or 30 um, without having to fish around for embellishments. I was talking about the reindeer, um, the wood reindeer that I seem to have an inordinate amount of. Um, what, so again, like it just so happens on this kit, we have one of the embellishments has the list of all the reindeer on it. So I can match my reindeer wood with my reindeer embellishment. Um, babe, if you can zoom in when you have a sick. Oh, Don, Don Kingston is testing something. Um, but this is another perfect example. This, I think this might have been um, Shemaine's. So, who also apparently had a leftover deer um, embellishments, which is another big um, Christmas one. So, got the embellishment, <clears throat> got the tree, which comes in the kit, has the deer again. One, two, three. So, when you find something that works with an embellishment you've got a lot of, that's a great way to use your stash. Um, a ta again, talking about mixing and max mixing and matching the stuff that comes in your card kit. These trees come in the card kit. This is an SVG file from somewhere else. I mean, look at how cute that is. And you see um, odd numbers. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Oh, sorry. <gasps> that was busy. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. It's just like, it's a great way to mix and match. And again, love this when we were talking about the doilies earlier. One, two, three. One, two, three. What a cool way to use doilies. And you could die cut these trees if you run out of trees to come with a kit. This fa la la comes from the, um, it's the back side, I think, of the B side of one of our paper collections. But it's just a really cool way to use the stuff you already got. Okay, now let's, let, let's get into it. Deep into it about um, the uh, embellished stash that you've got. So, so these are very specific cards. Oh, no, you can come back in there. Um, I have no kidding. Like this is one obviously you couldn't put in the mail. I mean, you could, but you'd pay extra, but like put in somebody's Christmas card box. I have so many of these wreaths. I can't even begin to tell you how many of these wreaths I have, but this is a really cool way to use that. Let's know how many Christmas cards you send. How many do we send? We probably send a hundred. You think so? We've, we've pared it down over the past couple of years. Um, if you haven't, if you are under the age of like 70 and you have not sent us a card in the past couple of years, we don't send you one. <laughs> if you're over the age of 70, like, you know, my, my mom's friends, people that maybe aren't doing cards as much anymore, but I know they love to receive them. We still do those, but no, ma'am, if you do not send me a card, I do not send you one. And we alternate between handmade and, um, we own a stationary company, Don Kingston does. So we send, um, paper hatchet, you know, uh, Christmas card too. Okay. Now this is a cool, so this is, um, from the front of a old Christmas card. So she cut this out of like, you know, cause a lot of people like cut up their Christmas cards from the year prior and then use some of the embellishments. This is it, but look how cute that looks with the blue background and the red. So again, super specific use of a random embellishment that a lot of us probably don't have. But if you are someone that like has bigger embellishments or cuts and saves from cards. Here's another one, like a cute, this was probably a tag in a past life, but again, look at how cute it matches with all the stuff. Um, if you've got a lot of stamp sets, as I do, um, this is from, this isn't Diamond Press, I'm not sure whose this is, but look at how cute everything mixes and matches. So this is a great, this card set is a great foundation no matter what other Christmas stuff you have, this card set is a great foundation for making. Again, giant, how many of us, I mean, I could pull one out of my bag right now. How many of us have like a couple of these giant wreath embellishments that we don't know what to do with? Look how stinky cute that is. And again, this is one of the embellishments that comes with. Like, how cute. Yeah, that wreath is room. <sighs> no, if, if I had to, mm, no, it's hard to tell. Is it from some old American crafts? I was going to say pink paisley at first. Um, but it's, I mean, it's so cute. And like, like these little things down here are added on. But again, you're using the stuff you've already got like sitting around and it looks super cute. Um, this is from a diamond press set that I sold not too long ago. These are all stickers. So you should just cut the hole out, which is super cute. And then add the sticker. So th that's what I want you, when you're looking at your stash, this is what I want you to think of. Like you can make so many cool things. She meant the pink. 
Oh, this pink one. Um, so this is Tim Holtz. Girl, I am, I am oh, upside down. I am Tim Holtz all day, all day, already. day. Um, where is the, oh, there it is, babe. Will you hand me the bag? I'll sh I'm about to shame myself. <gasps> you guys see that? <laughs> oh yeah, that's a, it's a proud moment right here. I mean, some of those are not Tim's, but uh, most of those are Tim's. <laughs> I mean, he's my friend. What can I say? Um, speaking of wood embellishments, look at how sweet this one is. So it's just the one wood embellishment. She put a little piece of string over like it's hanging down and then added like a three dimensional and it looks super cute. This is what I mean about using your stash. Like these don't have to be complicated. These don't have to be whatever. Someone is going to love to get this at Christmas. Is this not the sweetest thing ever? Okay. And then finally, I think this is my last one. Um, how many, how many stickers do we have? So these alphabet stickers right here, boopity boop. This from somewhere else. A sentiment is a sentiment is a sentiment. Again, using twine, my favorite thing of all time. Um, what's cool about this one, oh, we could have talked about this. Uh, so this is stripping again in, in an even cooler way. Um, see, as I open it, she glued to, look at it. So she cut the card in half on the front and used two card fronts and glued it back to back. Look how stinking cute that is. I mean, so again, all these different ideas let me i'll just lay a couple out here real quick so you guys can get like screenshots if you want or um this will obviously will live here on facebook forever so many good things and if you have questions about anything um if we didn't answer it in the in the live you can send us an email um info at the kingston home or info at kingston crafts and we can get it answered about like where we got stuff but look at this is what you guys can do with your stash. I'm so, so, so excited for you to use up stuff and please, um, s please sit, send us some photos or tag us or um, post it in the group or something because we would love to see it. Okay. Um, oh, is this just for the Kingston Home or? For the Kingston Crafts. Kingston Home. And oh, okay. Info at the Kingston Home or sales at Kingston Crafts. I don't know. Or just send me a message on at Facebook. I don't know. The internet is hard. Okay. So our winner from the YouTube live, e if you send us an email at info at the Kingston home <laughs> or sales at Kingston Crafts, um, we've got a $20 gift card. If you are on any of the Facebook channels, you have until Sunday morning to enter. Just leave a comment. Just say, hey, I watched. Here are the embellishments. Whatever you want to say. We're just happy to have you. Um, Linda Gaylord. You are our winner on the YouTube. So if you will send us an email, we'll get you your $20 gift card. Linda Gaylord on the YouTube. Um, this has been so fun. I hope you guys got as much out of it as I did. It was so fun putting these together. As always, our designers are amazing and they gave me a ton of help and inspiration, obviously. Um, everybody, Mary, <laughs> Mary is watching from the parking garage at the airport. God love you. Hopefully picking somebody up or going somewhere fun or whatever. Um, everybody be safe this holiday, please. I will see you probably 17 more times between now and Christmas, but I hope everybody has a wonderful weekend. I hope you're doing something fun. I will probably be frantically working on my cards because we need to get these out, but I appreciate you. Um, if things go on deeper discount at HSN, I will keep you posted about that. And Don Kingston, we got anything else? Any other questions? Good? I'm clear. Okay, we're good. I will see everybody later. Have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. And thank you again. I will see you next week. Bye, guys. <laughs>